Hey guys, today is day 31 of our Lent series. Today we are learning what it means that Jesus is the King of Kings. Miss Allie? Jesus is the King of Kings. One of the reasons, well, one of the many reasons why other people didn't like Jesus was because he had this title, King of Kings, right? Um, because people in positions of power do they like other people who are supposed to be more powerful than them? No. Their entire job is to stay in power and to make sure that they're more powerful than anyone else. So when this person comes in and he's supposed to be the king of them, I don't really think they like that. And here's the thing. Jesus was more powerful than anyone around them. And as the most powerful person on earth, did he do whatever he wanted? Did he hurt other people? No. He chose to use his power to help other people, specifically others that kings would have never interacted with. He ate with people who were considered evil or dirty or gross. He chose to do that because he's not a king who is just obsessed with being in power or a king who's obsessed with being the best. He was a king for the people. He was a king that wanted to support the people that, that followed him and he wanted to make sure that they felt loved, that they felt supported. And he can do, continues to do that every single day.